Hey, it's Marin, and this is the July 2019 forecast for Capricorn Risings. So starting out right on the first of the month, Mars enters Leo in your eighth house, meaning there could be increased effort, maybe conflict, or maybe just some frustration in terms of the amount of work you're doing here regarding shared finances or joint assets you have with another person. On the second, there's a solar eclipse in Cancer in your seventh house, and solar eclipses are new moons on steroids, basically. They are times of planting seeds for the next six months and beyond. With it in your seventh house of relationships and partnerships, if you aren't expecting a partner but you're wanting to attract any kind of partnership into your life, it's a good time to set intentions and ways of going after that. If you are already in a pre-existing bond, this is kind of a new chapter, a big new chapter in that story. On the third, Venus also enters Cancer in your seventh house, further bringing ease and harmony into your relationship world. On the 9th through the 14th, the Sun will oppose Saturn and Pluto across your first seventh house axis. So there might be increased interest with a partner, increased activity with someone uh, that you want to build a relationship with, but you feel as if there's something about your identity or a fear regarding yourself, your physical body, or just who you are that's holding you back. This probably is a self-imposed limitation unless there is some health issue keeping you from interacting with the person. You can trust that you can follow the dream to interact with this person and follow your excitement and it doesn't have to be stopped by fear or anxiety about interacting. On the 9th, Mercury stations retrograde in Leo in your 8th house. Mercury will be retrograde the whole month and on the 19th it will retrograde back into Cancer until it stations direct on the 30th, meaning that Mercury this whole month will be retrograde between your 8th house of shared finances and your 7th house of relationships. So while there's increased activity about those things, it's not a good time to make permanent like contractual plans around those matters, like interact with the person that you're interested in but don't move in with them. Something like that, be careful about set plans, be careful about misunderstandings, and remain flexible. On the 11th, Mars squares Uranus between your 8th and 5th house axis, so something unexpected regarding creativity or children or romance in your life could then kind of throw some curveballs into your shared financial world or some type of shared bank account you have might kind of suffer or might have some difficulty because of something regarding children or creative projects in your life. The 16th, there's a lunar eclipse in Capricorn in your first house, and lunar eclipses are big time culmination, celebration, high points for any sort of project or development we had going on in that area of life. For you, it's in your first house of self, so I mean, during the past several years, you've really been going through a metamorphosis, a transformation, whether that is literal, physically, or a huge psychological re-download, complete upgrade. So 16th, that might become really apparent to you, and you might really be able to celebrate and appreciate how far you've come in terms of self-development and maturity. On the 17th through the 21st, Venus will oppose Saturn and Pluto again across your first 7th house, ascendant, descendant, axis, it's just further highlighting that things are going really well in relationships, but there's some inner fear and some personal tension that is kind of creating some uh, hesitance or hiccups with that. On the 18th, Venus trines Neptune between your 7th and 3rd houses. 18th is a great day to communicate with whoever you're in a relationship with about um, any like short-term travel plans or writing projects that you might be going on with, or if the person you're in a relationship with is a sibling, like some sort of business partnership, this is a good day to communicate on those things as well on the 18th. On the 21st, there's a Sun, Mercury, Kazemi, and Cancer in your 7th house. The Sun and Mercury can join, and this represents an illuminating insight of clarity and information. So 21st, expect a good download of information to bring some clarity and insight into your relationship. On the 23rd, the Sun enters Leo, bringing more light and focus to your shared financial world. On the 25th, Mars trines Jupiter between your 8th and 12th houses, which is a great aspect of putting effort and harmonious drive towards bridging these two areas of shared finances and introspective personal meditative states. Maybe you invest with a partner in a yoga studio, or maybe you invest with your significant other in like a meditation trip, something like that could definitely be a great day to get on that on the 25th. On the 28th, Venus enters Leo in your 8th house, further bringing harmony and ease to your shared financial world. On the 29th, Venus squares Uranus between your 8th and 5th houses, further bringing unexpected, surprising, creative, or child-related events that then affect your finances. Not necessarily in a good or bad way, it's just you're going to have to be flexible about the way that your money is being spent. 
Finally, on the 30th, Mercury stations direct in Cancer in your 7th house. So 30th into August, there'll be some clarity and some solving the delays and solving out the ironing out the kinks that you maybe didn't realize were even there in communicating to your significant significant other or whoever you're in a partnership with expect increased clarity from the end of july into august so this month definitely is asking you to remain flexible with others there are great things happening with relationships for you finally after a ton of internal work some of it is manifesting as that upgrading and who you're around and who you're in a partnership with but this month does ask for flexibility so i hope this was helpful i do offer private consultations at the link below like subscribe do all the things and i will see you soon